Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about mobile computing. So before going to mobile computing, uh, I will discuss about computer network. Okay. So then I will go for wireless network. Then I will go to the mobile computing. So let us start. Okay. Computer network. Okay. So computer network means this is the uh, combination of uh, various communicating devices like your desktop PC, laptop, scanner, printer connected with each other uh, using uh, cable or without cable. Without cable means it is called wireless network. Okay? So uh, wire or without wire for data transmission okay? is known as your computer network. So basically the uh, simple definition of your computer network is that connection of various devices like desktop PC, laptop, printer, scanner, uh, server etc. with each other through wire or without wire for data transmission is known as your computer network. Okay? So basically uh, uh, there are uh, in a wired network we are using basically three types of cable. One is CAT6 cable, second one is your coaxial cable, third one is your optical fiber cable. So basically uh, this optical fiber cable is always used for uh, connecting from a la network to other network for data transmission, not from a uh, user to user. I mean to say uh, we cannot co co connect a optical fiber to co communicate with the two computers directly. Okay, It's not possible. But uh, we can uh, connect two computers using CAD6 or CAD5 cable. CAD stands for category. Okay. So CAD6 or CAD5 cable or coaxial cable. And generally we are uh, nowadays we are not using coaxial cable also because uh, coaxial cables are uh, now using for uh, your uh, TV network like DTH connection. Okay. But in case of computer networking we are using mainly CAD6 or CAD5 cable. Now we are using CAD6 cable. Before the few years ago, we were using CAD5 cable. Hmm. So this is the cabling of the uh, guide. This is also known as a guided media. Wired network is also known as your guided media. Then, uh, so how it looks, you see, uh, suppose, This is a central device. Okay. This is called switch or hub. Okay. Switch or hub. Okay. So all these uh, our computer, you can say. Laptop, here is a server, okay. so printer, laptop, and this is a desktop PC. Okay. So all these are directly connected through CAD5 cable. This is simple network. Okay. So we can communicate number of uh, devices we can communicate. I have shown here four only but this switch comes in the configuration of four uh, sorry four, eight, sixteen, uh, 24 and 48. Okay, these are the configurations. One switch must have either 4 or 8 or 16 or 24 or 48 ports. So, maximum we can connect 48 number of devices in one particular switch. Why I am talking about switch? Because it is not like your electrical switch. Switch means uh, uh, actually, it is a switching data from this port 1 to port 2. Say, yeah. So, data can be directly switched from 1 to 2 
or one two three what okay? data switch ho jata hai isliye usko switch bola jata hai but in case of hob uh, hob is uh, broadcasting the message okay? so the basic uh, i mean this is the basic difference switch can transmit data from one user user uh, say desktop laptop okay so it can transmit data from desktop to laptop directly by, uh, through this switch but if it is a hob then it will broadcast the message everybody will receive this message and the actual user can accept the data yeah. so laptop ko chahiye wo data to usko wo receive karega so this is the basic difference but much more differences are there okay yeah. hob or switch uh, if possible i will also go for this uh, another class in hob and switch i will explain yeah. so this is called your basic network concept okay it, this is called wire wired network or guided media and you can add number of devices okay ab log if you say sir we are saying that 48 ports yes you can go for 96 computers you can go for 100 computers 500 computers 5000 computers no no not a problem add on these switches and connect these switches switches directly okay switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 switch 4 accordingly you can add on and you can expand your network like anything no problem and also you can get the internet so you have to terminate the internet in the switch or server okay you can terminate the internet in server also so that other users can access the internet okay so this is the basic concept of your network uh then come to the wireless network okay so wireless network means instead of wire we are using wire wireless instead of using of wire we are using here a particular device called ap access point is known as uh, instead of uh, hob switch everything jo previous mein dekha tha slide mein so all these uh, things cannot be used for wireless uh, uh, network and we, here we are using a particular device that is called access point ap it radiates signal okay. so uh, connecting a wireless uh, or creating a wireless network a device like your maybe computer maybe printer laptop whatever mobile device cell phone whatever it may be or uh, palm uh, palm top jo ki aajkal bolte hain ki uh, ipad bola jata hai usko okay so ye jitna bhi hai isko if you want to connect all these things wireless then the device must have a wireless adapter in previous in network also we, we are using a uh, interface that is called network interface ka without having that card we cannot uh, install a device into the network okay same thing is happening in wireless network instead of nic network interface card it uses a wireless network interface card you can say wnic okay so without having that card we cannot communicate so in wireless this uh, it uses like in uh, wired network it uses for cat 6 cable optical fiber coaxial but in case of wireless it uses radio wave microwave and infrared signals okay. so uh, this uh, network is called unguided media yeah okay. uh, these are the some examples of uh, your uh, wireless uh, network these are cell phone laptop dtch means direct to home wireless keyboard mouse tv remote etc okay so uh, for this uh, uh, tv remote we are uh, providing a particular uh, type of signal like infrared okay jo main bataya tha in la previous slide okay so ye dekho sorry infrared okay so this infrared is used for your remote tv remote control okay 
so there is also microwave microwave basically we are using to communicate device uh, from point to point no obstacle or barriers are allowed in microwave okay jo remote area hota hai to through satellite jahan pe hum cable nahi pahuncha sakte ya uh, uh, optical fiber nahi dal sakte so in that place we are using microwave and uh, through satellite and the radio wave radio wave is basically it's a general signal we are using in our cell phone and uh, access point whatever it may be so uh, generally we are using radio wave but for exclusive purpose we are using microwave and infrared okay and these are the some examples okay so how it looks uh, wireless say this is a you can say access point this is called access point okay it comes in various uh, bandwidth 2.4 gigahertz and another one is 5 gigahertz okay so devices like basically we are co here communicating uh, several laptops mobile device also and printer also wireless printer aajkal available hai market mein printer laptop cell phone so these are the various kind of communicating devices we can connect to a ap so data can be transmitted instead of hub or switch here we are using ap okay so uh, also you can use a server but uh, it's not recommended so basically the uh, network uh, wireless network uh, always depends uh, depends on some wired network wide network means say here is a server uh, hub or switch you can say okay so here is a server this server is uh, connected through wire and this access point is connected through this cable it's a cat 5 cable cat sorry cat 6 Okay. all this is also cat 6 okay. so access point will get data from server through this switch or hub hub or switch okay so when the data chala gaya access point then the users can access this data you can add number of laptops no problem okay. yes bandwidth will reduce no doubt Uh, अगर बैंडविड्थ uh, ज्यादा डिवाइस यूज करेंगे तो बैंडविड्थ कम होगा अगर कम डिवाइस यूज करेंगे तो बैंडविड्थ भी अच्छा मिलेगा ओके सो इफ यू ऐड नंबर ऑफ डिवाइसेस देन इट इज बेटर दैट यू कैन ऐड एक्स्ट्रा एपीस सो ये जो एक्सेस पॉइंट है यू कैन ऐड अनदर वन ओके एंड कनेक्ट दिस टू एपीस थ्रू वायर और वायरलेस नो प्रॉब्लम ओके यू कैन ऑल्सो कनेक्ट दिस एपीस Through wired or wireless, then you connect another twenty, uh, thirty number of laptops. No problem. Okay, so this is called your basic wireless setup. Okay, so and this wireless is always of uh, two types. One is for uh, uh, enterprise network, and another one is your uh, ad hoc network. Okay, so you can say this one is enterprise network. It's a company network. एक कंपनी के अंदर हम सर्वर इंस्टॉल कर दिया जहां पे इंटरनेट है और वायरलेस कर दिया एंड पीपल आर यूजिंग यूजर्स आई मीन दी स्टाफ और यूजर्स आर यूजिंग और एक्सेसिंग दी सर्वर विद इन दी बिल्डिंग एंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड 
डब्ल्यू लैन वायरलेस लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क सो इन नेटवर्क देर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट लान मैन एंड वन सो लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क मेट्रोपोलिटन एरिया नेटवर्क वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क दीज आर दी थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट टाइप्स ऑफ नेटवर्क वी आर यूजिंग इट मे बी इन वायर्ड और वायरलेस इफ इट इज वायर्ड देन लान मैन वन इफ इट इज वायरलेस देन just write down w w land w man and w one yeah. so this is the basic concept of our wireless and in ad hoc mode uh, suppose uh, there is a uh, laptop or say uh, mobile mobile device having internet connection 4g 3g whatever right okay? so uh, what happen uh, some users laptop users or desktop users also no problem if the desktop has some uh, wireless network card okay yeah? agar desktop mein wireless hai to ye ho sakta hai usme koi problem nahi hai so these uh, devices and also you can connect a printer no problem wireless printer this wireless print, uh, printer must have a wireless network card no problem so from your mobile device you can send a print command and you will get print also okay so this is called so basically the, it is known as your hotspot i think you all of you aware about hotspot mobile mein kaise hotspot kiya jata hai so that hotspot is called your ad hoc network okay for the time being you have created a network and connected a few devices completed your task then you terminated uh, when you switch off the hotspot button in your uh, mobile cell phone then automatically all the device will disconnect okay yeah. so this is called ad hoc pehle jo dikhaya tha main that one is enterprise network and this one is ad hoc wireless network okay yeah. so let us come to the next slide connections of uh, cons of wireless pros and cons okay so these are the various pros and cons of wireless network so what are the pros it can be expanded to any distance it can solve the problem where lay down of cable is not possible extend uh, expanded to any distance means you can expand unlimited campus campus ke bahar jitna bada campus ho you can just put add on some apis then you can expand your network and it can solve the problem where lay down of cable is not possible yes jahan pe hum cable nahi dal sakte you can uh, put a wireless uh, access point uh, and uh, from there you will get the internet connection or network connection or you can access your own server okay company server i mean company server okay so then next one is it can connect uh, thousands of uh, okay the, the, if you will add more number of access points then you can also add more and more devices ऐसा नहीं कि 50 लैपटॉप हो गया बस वायरलेस खत्म नो नॉट एट ऑल यू कैन एड नंबर ऑफ डिवाइसेस नो प्रॉब्लम एंड इट कैन कनेक्ट रिमोट डिवाइसेस आल्सो रिमोट मींस सपोज यू आर सिटिंग इन अ कैंपस इन अदर कैंपस यू हैव अ सर्वर सो यू कैन कनेक्ट थ्रू दैट सर्वर थ्रू वायरलेस आल्सो सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल ए एंटीना इन इन दिस बिल्डिंग uh and uh, where you are sitting then uh, you have to other install other antenna in the server building and both the antenna should be aligned there we are using we have to use microwave for communicating both these antennas after communication started you can access the server okay so this is called it can connect remote devices okay. 
basically government uh, agencies are using this remote device uh, remote uh, devices like uh, uh, your security agency i mean the police department crpf department army personnel so they are using hmm. then cons uh, some cons are also there because the lack of network security hackers can uh, hack the system at any time yes uh, little bit though security is very strong day by day we are uh, strengthening the security day by day but uh, the thing is that uh, still there is a lack uh, some lacunas are there we have to check it we have to ensure our network that uh, hacker should not hack our network because due to wireless uh, we can't know who is uh, uh, coming into our network because of wireless in wired we can uh, identify okay but in wireless we can't identify instantly who added who who is the user that uh, uh, entered into our network that's the problem okay so kyunki instantly nahi ho sakta kuch time lag sakta hai janne ke liye humko so for that reason uh, we have to strengthen our network okay then uh, implementation of wireless uh, yes it's a very costly one obviously instead of wired network it is a little bit costly okay yeah. that is why we are not implementing uh, wireless network uh, unless until it requires so yeah. company ka agar zarurat nahi hai wired mein kaam ho jata hai to chala lete hain wireless mein hi thoda sa costly hota hai devices are much more costly compared to wired network okay yeah. then come to the mobile computing so mobile computing means that uh, a computing uh, process can be done while in moving is called mobile computing computing means you can edit your data you can edit your audio you can edit video you can uh, access internet you can access server you can access cloud server database server company server whatever it may be yeah so this is called your mobile computing so the basic definition is it is a computing environment while the user is roaming outside of the building or campus during roaming or moving the user can able to access data information and hardware or software from the server through network okay the mobile computing process allows the user to perform any task from anywhere in public place using a computing device that means you can uh, while moving in a car you can access your database company's database server and you can access some data and edit it again you can save it okay, into your server or or you can also uh, sometimes uh, printers are also configured you can edit uh, your data and give a print command to your uh, there is a print server you can access the print server of your company then you can give a print command also that will also happen and how, and you know that while moving we are also watching movie or listening songs online okay or or we are also doing transactions okay? uh, making payment various bills or uh, we are accessing government notifications or government document we can edit uh, any kind of jo e governance bola jata hai whatever the e governance so we are applying for a job we are applying for a government uh, uh, government requirement okay aur kya kaun sa post chahiye kya chahiye any kind of application we can uh, uh, using um, we can perform uh, or apply for any kind of government process using this mobile computing technology and uh, entertainment uh, already discussed that watching movie tv or uh, listening songs these are called entertainment and education also you can while moving also you can take your online classes no problem okay agar gaadi mein ja rahe ho to video lecture on kar sakte ho student ko samjha sakte ho yes while not driving but uh, while sitting you can uh, take your class okay but not advisable <coughs> so these are the various kind of things we are doing in our mobile computing okay for effective mobile computing environment it is necessary that the communication system should be spread over both wired and wireless network so here means uh, effective mobile computing environment means 
your server must be connected through wired network and you must have a strong wireless connection wireless connection basically this uh, mobile computing is happening in a, using a third party hmm. हम जब हम बिल्डिंग से बाहर आ जाते हैं या हमारे नेटवर्क से हम बाहर आ जाते हैं तो हमको बीच में एक चाहिए गेटवे टू एंटर इनटू टू आवर नेटवर्क दैट गेट वे इज कॉल्ड थर्ड पार्टी थर्ड पार्टी वी कैन नॉट डू परफॉर्म और एनी काइंड ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग टास्क सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज आर सेल फोन लैपटॉप वाई डोंगल एक्सेस पॉइंट एटसेट्रा दीज आर कॉल्ड योर मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग डिवाइसेस so you see this is a good uh, example of a mobile computing uh, this is your corporate office this is called server uh, services uh, provide, uh, sorry uh, this is called isp okay uh, this is the third party and this is your corporate office okay this office contains various kind of file server this office your office is directly connected to cloud your office is directly connected to your data server okay this is your office and being a uh, employee of that office you are moving outside because of some office work you are moving outside and being a employee of that office you can you have to access all right you have all rights to access these data or so i mean the servers so how you can access because you are moving you have a, either maybe a ipad or maybe a laptop or a mobile device okay? cell phone through that you can access that uh, there is a i uh, say this is a tower wherever you go you will find a tower okay so that is uh, some antennas are fitted there so from uh, you are getting signal from that tower so in your cell phone or mobile device uh, there is a service provider okay that service provider is the third party this is called internet service provider without having this third party we cannot access internet सो so, ये जो ये जो सर्विस प्रोवाइडर है इसको छोड़ के हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते सो फ्रॉम देर वी आर गेटिंग कनेक्शन फ्रॉम आवर आई एस पी इंटरनेट में भी एयरटेल जियो वट एवर बी एस एन एल कोई भी है सो so, हम सर्विस प्रोवाइडर से सर्विस मिल जाता है सो सेम सर्विस प्रोवाइडर और मे बी डिफरेंट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज कनेक्टेड टू आवर कॉर्पोरेट ऑफिस ऑल्सो our corporate office is also connected to same service isp or different isp no problem different isp bhi ho sakta hai okay. so once we entered into our office then we all we have all rights to access our these servers no problem okay. so usme kya hota hai ki ek bar office mein pahunch jane ke baad then we will access our file server we can edit our file we can go to the cloud server where most of the data stored in cloud servers and also we can use our database servers while in moving okay this concept is called mobile computing and this is the user okay then various dimensions of mobile computing yeah? location awareness location awareness means that uh, uh, i am all uh, telling that uh, mobile computing means while on move we are performing computer computing task so location awareness location awareness means it is a technique that always the isp will locate ourselves हमारा पोजीशन क्या है कहां पे हम है हमारा लोकेशन को वो आइडेंटिफाई करेगा ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड लोकेशन अवेयरनेस क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस मींस वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड दिस आईएसपी मस्ट हैव टू प्रोवाइड क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस ओके दैट मींस इंटर नेटवर्क शुड नॉट बी इंटररप्ट इंटरनेट शुड नॉट बी इंटररप्ट ओके देन लिमिटेड स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी लिमिटेड स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी मींस बिकॉज़ वी आर ऑलवेज यूजिंग अ सेल फोन फॉर आवर मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग so it has very small amount of storage capacity so always we have, we have to try that we will uh, try to save our all data in our server from that server we will access everything then edit then again we will server in the st uh, <coughs> store in the server this is called limited storage capacity due to limited storage capacity we are unable to store huge amount of data in our 
mobile device. Another one is limited power supply. Yes, there is a battery power supply and this battery is very small one and it has a limited power supply. So we cannot uh, use the, our handset or mobile unlimited period for unlimited period. Yeah? We have to use a charger. Back. So this is the various dimensions. Then come to the character six of mobile computing. This is user mobility, network mobility. User mobility means user can move anywhere. Network mobility means you can uh, uh, access network while on roaming. Means your network is wherever you go, you will find your network. That is called network mobility. Then another one is bearer mobility. Bearer mobility means the, the ISP. Here bearer means ISP. I means uh, uh, the service provider. Okay. Bearer mobility. This is called bearer mobility. The uh, internet can, uh, I mean the service provider can move from your network one place to other place. Then another one is device mobility means your handset. You are roaming with your device. Hello, tomorrow device roaming mein hai. This is called device mobility and session mobility means, uh, means your session is always uh, particular session. This is your session. 30 minutes is a session, then you, you are moving to other session. This is called session mobility and service mobility. All these services are available while in roaming is called service mobility. Yeah. So these are the various applications I have already discussed. Okay. So thank you guys. In next chapter I will discuss something more.